Welcome back viewers. In this video, we are going to display customer orders. It will be more similar to the session card, but except we will also display some record of customer like customer email address, invoice numbers and uh, so on. Let's start. I will come here after the get order. I will start here new route and I will give this name just orders. Then will be here I will give it invoice and we will close it this invoice here. So then I will give it a login decorator. So after that define orders and then here we pass invoice and then we will check here if current user dot is underscore authenticated then we are going to write here first I will write here grand total so this will be grand total equal to zero and uh, subtotal this will be also equal to zero and uh, then I will get here customer underscore ID will be equal to current user dot ID and here we will get the log in user ID whatever the user is logged in then I will get here the customer so I will write here be equal to register dot query dot filter by ID equal to customer ID and then we are going to get this first and uh, after that I will just write here orders equal to customer order no, this will be customer orders so here we just write the same query filter by customer ID equal to customer ID so we will get this by customer ID whatever the customer ID is so then there will be invoice number equal to this invoice number whatever you want but now we are getting this one by customer so then I will write here first also we want only one record not more than one so after that I will calculate here so maybe you can put this grand total subtotal separately in your database then retrieve from there but I just put all the session into database so therefore I have to loop through and calculate our record here so this will be here I will start for loop as before like a key then I will give it name of product in so here we will get this orders dot orders dot atoms so if you go to here in our model you will see we have this column name orders so we are getting this orders inside this orders table our database table name is orders and for the dictionary you have to do this items and this is term of python so now i will calculate first discount this will be equal to here i will write this product and this will be product uh, discount and divided by 100 time so we are going to float the price this will be product price so here we are getting the discount and dividing them by 100 and then multiplying this with price so then I will get here this subtotal and subtotal will be plus equal to float this product product price and uh, we are going to multiply this price by integer of product quantity so this will be end and then product and here we will get the quantity so then we are going to take out the discount whatever discount we have so I will write here this subtotal this will be minus equal to 
discount so we will take out this discount from our subtotal so then we have to add the tax so here tax will be equal to I will write here percentage then dot to F this will be here then percentage and here I will just give it a parenthesis then will be dot 6 and this will be time float and here we will give it subtotal so this will be our tax and we are this will be point 0 not just 6 we will give it point 0 06 and then we are going to add this tax to our grand total so then will be grand total be equal to here I will write this equal to float and uh, this percentage dot percentage dot to F then percentage here and parenthesis and here will be 1.06 because we are going to add this then this will be time subtotal and this will be not minus here so now I will come back here else if our user is not authenticated so what we can do we will return redirect URL 4 and here we have this customer login here I will copy this method and paste it here here we have to write return and then a render template and uh, what will be the our template this will be inside of I will just first I will copy this one here whatever the customer login is so this will be inside our this our customer directory and then here I will just name it order dot html so then after that we have to bring our invoice this will be equal to invoice and then tax this will be equal to tax and then we have here subtotal this will be equal to subtotal and then we are going to display their grand total and this will be equal to grand total and uh, we have to display customer also this customer will be equal to customer and then also orders so orders will be equal to orders so these things we have to display there in our HTML so I will come here then template and after template here we have this customer directory we have already this login and register here I will create new file this will be order dot html and uh, this one is done here so what I can do it will be better I will just come here to cart dot html and simply I will do control a then copy and paste all then inside here now what I have to change here the first thing we don't need image here so I will remove this image then delete update we don't need also we don't need this select color so I will just delete this color here and uh, maybe we will get one color here so I will just leave this TD just for now later we can see what we are going to have or not and uh, then here you see subtotal so we have with small t so there we have a capital okay subtotal we are getting from here so we don't need subtotal from there so you see here the grand total I will just make this t capital so let's see if we are getting this order ID or not other things uh, we will display later so let's see how it's working if we are getting some error or not so I will come here and then 
come to orders and after orders we have uh, this one str items product key and orders dot orders dot key so maybe the problem is our again this model form here process result param so this one is not param so this will will be value we have to write here value and change this name as to value not a param so now you can see because this method is here it is going to dump value inside the database and with this we are getting the value so here you can see this is json load so now if i go here and refresh you can see we have another error so this says the object has no shopping cart get this one from shopping cart because now we don't have the shopping cart we have here orders dot orders then items so instead of shopping cart now if i come here to check the subtotal is undefined where is the subtotal it's here here this subtotal has, should have this t so now now you can see also we are getting this image and uh, this logout and everything and this part is removed so here you can see we have this subtotal text and everything what i can do here for this delete we don't need i will remove this delete update button we don't need to update now and uh, else what we don't need and we don't need also this image i'm going to remove this image and now if we check again what we have here so now we have these things here so color i will display the color whatever the color there and uh, here is the color so i will just write here product dot color then for the quantity quantity is here for the quantity what i can do i remove this input tag we don't need here so this will be just quantity here now and uh, yeah for the color i will just make it capitalize oh this look good for the order now i will change it to check out and the clear card i will make it just i will write get pdf so in next video we will do it what i can do i will remove this now it will be dead link and uh, this will also i will make it dead link and uh, i will come here i will display some information of the user so first thing here will be invoice so this invoice i will just come and make it here this order orders dot invoice and the second thing i will just this will be order status if you want to see the status and uh, here i will just write status i will write here customer name this will be here i will write this customer customer name line break here and line break here also and i will give it line break here and this will be customer here i will write email and here will be email and then the last one will be contact br and here you can write this customer contact and here will be also contact gap between and me colon I'll give it this colon here information of your customer like that so this one last one has a little bit of problem so here like this so thanks this is our invoice number if you see here and this invoice number are matching so now what i can change i will come here in our route and uh, i will go this customer order page 
So whatever the customer order will be, this two br I will give here two br. So will be a little bit more gap between this one is here done. If you are going to check now this time you see here name is book T and if I log out from here and log in with another this site and here you can see the name is Jamal if I add one another cart here so this will be two and uh, I will change here this with two to see and now we have a quantity is two and here you can see we have this Rado watch and Apple watch and the grand total here is 2181 so if I do the order one we are redirect to the home page so let's check why normally we should go to this order page so yeah here we are going to order page maybe we have to give it also this invoice so this invoice will be equal to invoice generated invoice will be equal to that invoice and also so here we are getting the orders i will just do this one also we have to give it order by order by and this will be here i'm going to give the order by of this customer order dot id dot dsc parenthesis so now if i let's see our program is running so we don't have any problem so now if i come here again so first was not that good we were not redirected to our order page so now i have this two canon camera and this one so now canon camera i will just update this one to have 2462 and uh, now if i do order now so you can see we are redirected to here and this grand total and everything is same quantity is two and color and everything is good and here you can see the name is jamal the customer name is jamal and this is invoice number so that's all for this video thank you very much see you in next video take care bye bye